Days like this when I lean back in this hospital bed, it makes me really, really grateful that this is not the norm. Good morning, guys. Can you say good morning? You have some drool. Oh, wait. Oh, I just remembered my oh. uh, infusion. Oh, yes. Oh. Infusion. <laughs> Mary has an infusion today. and We were just getting, like, making plans for our day. And that was not <laughs> in our minds. To be fair, I do have a timer set to leave in four hours and 46 minutes. So I didn't completely forget. Okay. Um, Should we be embarrassed that we're matching? We are wearing our work uniforms today. <laughs> to be clear, I was dressed first. <laughs> Did you try to match me? I forget. You forget? <laughs> I think I did see it and I was like, oh, that was a good idea to wear that shirt. <laughs> also, mine is a little different because mine has this on the back. Oh, yeah. Mine is just, I just did the pocket on mine. Uh, anyways, shirts for sale on our online store. Thank you guys for your support. And we are going to, we have a couple things to return at the store. I was out working this morning. I have a couple of retreats that I'm speaking at. One in September, one in October. I'm also traveling and preaching at a couple different churches this month and next month. So I was working on some of those messages this morning and now we're gonna have a family outing. And me and Eli witnessed a miracle this morning while okay. Peter was out of the house. We were here and I decided to hold him and rock him for his nap. And while I was doing that, I remembered that I had started something on the stove. Split peas, like dry split peas. I've never cooked them before. And I, <laughs> it had already boiled over one time before we went up for the nap. Then we went up for the nap. I remembered about 30 to 40 minutes into the nap. I promptly ran downstairs. And the miracle is it wasn't burned. It didn't boil over. <clears throat> and they're quite mushy and he enjoyed them. So that was a miracle that I was expecting when I ran to the top of the stairs to smell like burned smell. Didn't smell burned smell. Came down, looked around the corner, and all was well. That was amazing. Amazing. So, he had some split peas. He had some oatmeal this morning with banana in it. He, uh, he loves to eat, don't you, buddy? And this newest development is that his feet are tickly. Let's see if he smiles. Are you tickle, 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 tickle? <laughs> You're hiding it with your with your hand in your mouth. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Oh yeah, I should give you guys an update from my exciting news yesterday. I just realized I ate strawberries. I probably have strawberry um, seeds in my teeth. But yesterday, I officially took my feeding tube out for the last time and it leaks much more than I anticipated. My feeding tube always leaked. I always had gauze on it. And so I'm not surprised that it leaks. I have an, a hole in my abdomen from my intestines out to the outside world. So of course there's gonna be some juice coming out, but it is more than I thought. I thought I could like tape a little gauze on there and it would catch the juice for a while the gauze gets soaked in like an hour. So I currently have six packs of gauze taped on here, two by twos, and I am going to bring, oh wait, hey babe. Yeah. That stuff I threw down the stairs, yeah. where is it? In the car. It's in the car. I have a whole bag of gauze and tape because yesterday when we were out, it soaked through the gauze onto my shirt. And then I need more gauze and didn't have any, so I'm coming prepared today. But I'm still really happy. I'm really, really happy that I took it out. We are home from running errands and Elijah went down for a nap when we got, right when we got home. And yeah, I'm talking about it to you. You think that's funny? You think that's funny? I came out from laying him down from his nap and Mary was in bed and I 
found that a little strange. She doesn't usually get in bed in the middle of the day. It's like, you feeling all right? She's like, I don't know. I was like, you gonna take a nap? She's like, I don't know. I went in the working room and worked for a little bit and just saw, she and Ollie are asleep on the bed and Elijah woke up from his nap. Um, so we'll let her sleep. We have to leave in, I think about an hour and a half um, for her uh, Viepti infusion. That's her headache medication. She started it three months ago and the infusion is only one infusion every three months. So this will be her second dose. We think that it has been working. Although I were wondering if toward the end of kind of this in between doses, she's the last few weeks, she's, I feel like she's had more headaches. They haven't been super bad, but we're wondering if kind of the drug wears off, but we'll see maybe after a few doses, which a few doses will be like a year down the road. Um, maybe it like gets a stable level in her body. I don't know. Um, but we're encouraged that for the most part, the last three months have been, um, pretty good on headaches. Um, but I think Eli and I are going to go upstairs and I'm going to get some work done. I'll bring up, um, something for him to play with while I'm working. Does it sound good, bud? Oh, you want to read my book? Okay. Beep, 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 beep. Are walking in they're just dropping me off at the hospital for my infusion don't mind the literal bruise on my lip I we it's like a mystery every once in a while I'll have this bruise right here we figure like maybe my tooth goes like this or something I have no idea um, so we got me all accessed and I'm going in for my infusion I guess they're gonna go for a walk it's just a 30 minute infusion so it shouldn't it won't take long but um, ooh, this is weird. How, we've never come in this way. Yeah, the back, back entrance to the parking garage. Are we in the right spot? Yeah. It, uh, hey, buggy. Hey, buggy. <laughs> Bleh. Bleh. Sorry. Heading in, I am super tired today. We were wondering, am, are we in the right spot? Yeah, we're going to it. It's just we never come out. Oh, that's weird. Wait, we have to walk all the way to the front door? Yeah. I mean, we could have walked through the parking garage if you want to walk through the parking garage. Nah, that's okay. Um, yeah, I'm just super tired today. I took a nap, which is very unlike me. And so we were like wondering, maybe I'm losing like a ton of electrolytes through my feeding tube leakage. I guess that's possible. I don't know. I do not know. All right, going in. All right, I'm back in the infusion suite. I always get nervous when they come back in the room. There's a little crack in the door. So I, for CF patients, they put us back in the individual room within this ginormous infusion suite. And it has this like rolling door and a curtain. This room has a bed. The last room that I was in did not have a bed, just had a chair. It's like a miniature hospital room. I have my own bathroom. Um, yeah, it's really nice. It's, um, we are trying to get the this infusion. I'm doing the migraine infusion, it's called Viepti. This is my second dose and it's every three months. So three months ago, I had my first dose, and now this is my second dose. It definitely works. Definitely works uh, for me. So I am really, really thankful for that. 
and the infusion is only 30 minutes, so it feels so silly to come all the way to the hospital, come all through the hospital hallways, get back to the infusion center, wait for the infusion room, get in here, all the things, all the things. It feels really silly for just a 30 minute infusion. So um, I believe my next one will be at home, which will be easier, obviously. So we'll see, it just couldn't happen for this one. So it's fine, it's a really nice setup if you wanna come all the way back here. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to be in here. They ordered the medication from pharmacy, so I guess it'll take a while to get up. I have no idea. But of course, I came accessed, and the nurses are always like, oh, that makes it really easy on me. I'm like, yep. Yeah. So hopefully in and out soon. I will. I have one, um, one thing to report is that they asked me what I want to drink, and they offered me Coke. And I was like, oh, Coke, great, thank you. I'm gonna try it, but this is not Coke. <laughs> Shasta Cola. So I'm gonna try this. I'll keep you guys updated. Important things in life, right? Oh, this reminds me. Do you guys remember this signet ring we bought in Scotland? It just has an F for fry. The fry life. Okay, moment of truth. I remember when we were in Scotland, actually, the soda in Scotland tastes different. Like the on-brand Coke and on-brand Dr. Pepper, they taste different because they have different ingredients. My sister would be ashamed right now because I'm using a bendy straw the bendy way. We both were on a strike against bendy straws because they were hospitally, but um, I'm gonna use it just to be a rebel today. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. That's not, it's not bad. I kind of wonder if I wouldn't be able to tell the difference between Coke and this. It's a little watered down from the ice because this is warm and this is ice. It does make my eye twitch a little bit, but it's okay. That's not bad. Pleasantly surprised. Elijah and I are hanging out, you know, and they have like a little natural picnic bench area outside the hospital. And <laughs> I just been jazzed on life. I got a, I stopped it. They have a, what's the restaurant? It's like Tropical Smoothie, Tropical Smoothie Cafe. And I got a spinach, kale, pineapple, mango smoothie. And I asked them to do no added sugar so that I could share it with Elijah. And he has been loving it. And I think he's jazzed on life because of it. Um, I don't know if you, we've showed you guys this, but Elijah has learned to use a straw. Is that good? You like that smoothie? Here you go. Yeah, man. Peter just sent me a video that they're splitting a green smoothie and it made me laugh. They're so cute. Oh yeah, and if you're curious, you wanted the whole hospital room tour. There's the bathroom. You're welcome. <coughs> Days like this, when I lean back in this hospital bed, it makes me really, really grateful that this is not my norm, that I'm here for just a 30 minute thing. Because I used to be within these walls of not these walls, other hospital walls for a long time. And the longer that I'm stable, Peter and I do not forget the reality of what it's like to be inside these walls. And sometimes sounds, like when she was getting that IV or she hooked up fluids, um, 
it like brings me back there and makes me really grateful that this is not my norm. And for those of you who this still is your norm, you're not forgotten. Mary just sent a message that they, we've probably been out here for an hour and they requested the drug from the pharmacy. She's in the infusion center. The infusion center requested the drug from the pharmacy a half hour ago and it still hasn't come. So it's supposed to be a half hour infusion turning into a much longer excursion. We're trying to get this covered for home infusion, but we haven't gotten there yet. So hence we are here at the infusion center. When you were born, your mama said the Lord bless you and keep you in everything that you do take heart. When you were eight, your daddy said never take your life for granted Leaving second chances, my love When the world spins badly on Remember that you belong You are strong Holy moly, that... Remember when I walked in there and I said it would be quick? Okay, which way do I go? It was not quick. It took pharmacy longer to get the drug up than it did for my entire infusion, but oh well. All right, time to make some bread. Baby just went down and I have my bread ingredients and recipe right here in this door. So I just stand here with my bowl on the scale and I read this recipe even though I'm kind of starting to memorize it. Here it is. Don't mind all of these chicken scratch over here. It was, <laughs> if I want to do a half batch, and also this was when we were using our postal scale and we only had ounces, so I, I use grams now because I have a legit kitchen scale. Okay, I'm really excited about this bread, but it's not gonna be ready till tomorrow, so. But I, it won't be ready if I don't make it, so I'm gonna make it now. joining us today and as always enjoy your life enjoy your life what? eat some cake <laughs> bye. bye animals bye harry mm. bye ollie oh, yeah. oh i love you too oh yeah i love you so much oh i love you so much mm. good night